In this video, I want to show you how to create a new Telegram bot using Botfather. For that, open Telegram application, whether you are on desktop or on a mobile device, open Telegram and then search for Botfather. There's this bot over here with a verification tick that is the original and the main but further, don't choose others. The first one, the one with the tick, is the uh, only verified and real but further. Open it and then press start. And here you can see that in response to the start command, we receive a message that uh, contains the guide for using this bot. For example, the commands for creating creating a new bot for editing your bots and also the settings of your bot and working with web applications and games to get started with this bot father thing let's create a new bot so i enter this command new bot okay now we need to choose a name for our new bot so I'm gonna name it my first bot and then uh, the name is good uh, remember that you can later change the name of your bot so don't worry if you don't like the name that you have chosen you can change it later on now we need to enter a username for the bot so that we can use this username to search for our bot in the list of chats or uh, send a message to this bot and so on and so forth. So let's uh, give it a name like for example my first bot my first my first one two three four bots. I'm using this number here, 1234, because I think there are other bots with the name, uh, with the username MyFirstBot, so I'm using this number just in case so that um, I don't create a repeated bot, a duplicate bot, because Telegram won't accept that. Botfather won't accept that. This needs to be unique, and there shouldn't be any prior instance of uh, this username. Oh, even this ID is taken already. So we need to change something. Uh, we need to choose something else. So let's say my pyrogram 101, but because we are going to work with pyrogram, so I chose this name and I think it will accept it. Yes. It was unique and the name was accepted. There's a point here you need to be aware of. When you create a bot, the bot's name, the bot's username needs to end in bot. If you don't end uh, your bot with BOT, uh, the username will not be accepted and you will have to choose a username that ends in BOT or bot. Now let's add a description for the bot. First, I'm using a command that shows me my bots. So I enter slash my bots and the list of my bots is shown. I only have one bot in my account. So it is shown here uh, with this button, my Pyrogram 101 bot. And now uh, I can even open that bot search for the bot my pyrogram 101 bot and find it there we go you can see that the bot has a start button but it doesn't do anything in response to sending this start command and also it doesn't have a photo next i'm going to show you how to set a profile photo for your bot so that it is more recognizable for your users. 
So let's go back to Botfather. And here I enter this command. My bots again. The list of bots is shown. I select this bot. And then I select edit bot. Here I can change the about text, the description text, and also change the picture, uh, the picture with bot pick, and we can set a list of commands that is supported by our bot and the privacy policy that our bot respects. So uh, let's edit about. We don't want to change name, just change about. This is my first hydrogram bot for this course. Okay, now let's update it to something better. Edit about again. This is my first bot for my pyrogram course. That's better. Okay, what about other things and other settings? Edit description. Let's uh, send the description of the bot. This bot will show how to get started with pyrogram programming. Okay, now let's go to the list of bots, back to bots list, select our bot from the list and see edit bot, select edit bot. We will see the about and description sections updated to our newly sent information. Now let's change the bot pic or the picture of the bot. So I'm gonna uh, select the attachment button and select photo or video and send this bot picture for example let's choose this one from my computer and send it okay that's updated uh, and we can confirm that by going back to our bot and opening it there we go you can see that the bot has a picture now we can open the profile picture of the bot and see the newly uploaded picture. Okay. Go back to the bot father bot and here. Uh, now I'm going to edit the list of commands that our bot supports. So I select edit commands. And the format that we use to enter and define commands for our bot is like this. For example, uh, the command one has a text of hello. I choose to have the text of hello for the command. This means that hello will be a command for the bot. So hello, this is a greeting message or greeting command. Then I press shift and return to go to the next line without sending this text because I want to enter the full list of commands. So by is my next command. I enter dash and then the description. This is a goodbye command. Let's imagine these two are very simple commands that just invoke hello and bye messages from the bot. So what about uh, this one, time? Entering this command will invoke the bot and make it send us the current time. So uh, the next command will be this. And this will return the current time. There we go. I press return and send the list of commands to the bot. There we go. The command list 
is updated now I go to my bot my first bot and here if I press slash the list of commands will be shown to me there we go it is now updated and by entering slash the list of commands supported by the bot is shown to me hello by and time you can even invoke that menu by pressing menu and the list of commands supported by the bot will be shown to us note that the bot that we just created currently doesn't do anything because we haven't put any code behind this bot in order to make this bot do something practical and something really useful we need to write some code that connects to this bot uh, gets notified about the updates that are happening to this bot and then we can use those updates to decide what to do and to perform some actions based on those decisions so that's it for now in this video you learned how to create a bot in botfather how to change some of its basic settings like its name its about text its description and its bot picture as well as its list of commands